Whatever you had unresolved within yourself, the pandemic gave you the opportunity for it all to come to the surface, whatever that was. If you have unresolved things in your marriage, in your financial life, in you know your health, whatever it was, it literally rose to the surface and it was in your face. Well, today we are going to do Awaken Your Health. And you guys know I'm the money expert, so I'm really not in the health world, but I always say that we either work things out and we act it out. We do it through our money, through our health, or through our relationships. So today, Patricia Zimmerman is going to help us in how to boost your immune system nature's way because she is the expert. And uh, Pat, can you tell people about yourself? A little bit about myself. I've been doing a lot of healing work and we're doing this work for many, many years. I've been doing um, all kinds of energy healing, essential oils, herbs, all that for probably over 25 years. It's what I do. It's what I do best. I teach a lot of classes so people can understand that all, just about all disease comes from an emotion. So when we have a problem going on within us, if we go back and we look what happened right before, there was some kind of a trauma or an emotional reaction that actually triggered it and brought it into existence. So when we go back and we look at what it is and we shift and change it and we work to release it, the issue goes away. Yeah, I remember the first book that I ever read on this was uh, Louise Hayes, Heal Your Body, Heal Your Life. Yes. And I remember her saying... Um, Colds were about confusion. And I'm like, I'd walk around my house like 20 years ago going, how am I confused? How am I confused? And then literally like something would pop and smack me in the head. Like, oh, I was confused about that. And uh, and then I started noticing because, you know, they always say as you process your emotions, um, that's the clutter in your house. So one of the first assignments I always give my clients, I'm like, what do your closets look like at home? And they're like, what does this have to do with money? I'm like going, well, because if your closets are cluttered with crap, you probably have a lot of credit card debt, right? So they kind of go together. And so I started learning to ask different questions. And then as I found that people, when they started to clean out their closets, when I gave them that assignment, they'd get sick. And mm -hmm. I was like, oh, interesting, because the gunk in your closets is also the gunk in your body. Because and your outside world reflects your inside world. That's true. And what people don't understand is we are, we, or I should say we forget, is that we're spirits having a human experience. Mm -hmm. So everything begins from within and goes out through the physical. Because yep. we are these spirits, we release through the physical. And we, so when right. we start house cleaning inside, it yep. will show up in the physical. It's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> it is. It really is. And I never would have correlated the two. And and I'll tell you, one of the biggest reasons I wanted to talk with you today was because you say exactly what I've been saying the entire time. The reason I started this entire Awaken series at the beginning of the pandemic was because I just wanted to share my knowledge with people. And, and I started with doing Awaken Your Health with someone else who was in the health arena. And um, you and I both have the... Uh, thought process that why in the heck during this pandemic are we not teaching people how to boost their immune systems? Exactly. It me bonkers. <laughs> exactly. Me too. That's actually why I came out and wrote the book because I was so frustrated. Our medical establishment has the answer. It's right there, boosting your immune system. Because if you have a strong immune system, one that's high, high in alkaline, one that's high in oxygen, it is physically impossible to get sick. You can't. But when it dips and you go into fear, which fear, alcohol, and drugs are the the biggest factors to weaken an immune system. And that includes prescription drugs, which people don't think about. Lower that your, will lower your immune system as well. It's the fastest thing. And what did they do last year? They kept us, everyone, in a state of fear. They knew what they were doing. You can't tell me that they didn't. Otherwise, why didn't they tell people, go out, get healthy, you know, get plenty of sunshine? Instead, they told everybody to stay indoors. Right. It wasn't right. good. And they're doing the same thing again now because the Delta variant, every time a virus mutates, it gets weaker. 
but they're trying to make it. Because I don't think people get that. They don't get the fact that the variant is actually weaker than the original. Yes, very true. Every time a virus mutates, it gets weaker. It's like diluting it. It's not the same as what it once was. So this is this new strain going around. And I've talked to several couple people that have had it and they have basically coughs or congestion, that sort of thing. It's nowhere near as bad as what it was last year, but yet they're hyping it out to be something just as bad as last year. And that's not good. Well, I, I really feel like what's, what's up for everybody. I noticed last year, even with my own clients is that um, whatever you had unresolved within yourself, the pandemic gave you the opportunity for it all to come to the surface, whatever that was. If you have unresolved things in your marriage, in your financial life, in you know your health, whatever it was, it literally rose to the surface and it was in your face. So you had to deal with it. And, Isn't that the truth? <laughs> yeah. And um, and you could continue to bury it. That's that's. I always tell people that's an option. It wouldn't be my recommended option. But um, or you could just say, OK, what is it that I've not been dealing with in my life that I now need to actually face and deal with? And um, it's fascinating to me to watch how um, now what it feels like to me is that um, everyone is being pushed up against whatever unresolved fear you have going on in your world. And mm -hmm. even myself, I I literally. Um, last week I had a business conference in, um, Colorado Springs and I could not believe that I uh, drove up to Pike's peak. And mm -hmm. if anyone's ever been there before, once you get over the timber line, you're literally on this curvy road with switchbacks that just go back and forth. You have like two mm -hmm. feet and you are down the mountain and yeah. there's no guardrails. I, and you hope that the mountain doesn't give away. <laughs> right. And you have people coming at you going the other direction that are mm -hmm. on the inside of the mountain, not the outside of the mountain. And um, I thought, you know, I face my fears all the time. And then I was like, oh, man. And I had to literally look down at the floor of the car while my boyfriend's driving the car. And, um, and then on the way down, it got even worse. Like, I have no idea. But like tears just came up and I was like, what is this? And when I was a kid, I had a intense fear of heights and mm -hmm. I thought I'd gotten over it. I go on roller coasters. I do all kinds of crazy stuff now. <laughs> and, and it, it just, I keep getting um, more and more examples of that, like pressing up against whatever unresolved fear I have inside. And, um, but that fear to your point really affects our immune system. Can you talk to that a little bit? Sure. One of the also the other things you were talking about bringing things in as a kid and all. One of the things that I found, I've done past life work for 25 years or more. And I found that a lot of our fears go back to past lives, things that have happened to us in a past life. So you can try to work on the fear in this life all you want. But if you don't go back to the root, it's like a weed. If you don't get the root, it's still going to keep coming back over and over again until you do. And then I teach a class on overcoming fear. So we give tools, you know, to do to work through that. But the other thing is once you've, the fear comes from the trauma itself, you know, if you're drowning, you have a choice to make. You're either going to um, all of a sudden cry out going, I'm going to die. I'm going to die. I'm drowning. In which case you will. Or right. you can say, oh, hell no, I don't have time for this today. I've got to do this, this, and this. And then you find use that energy within to pull you through it. Instead, have, most of us go weak. Yeah, I have watched so many clients have that, what I call self-fulfilling prophecy. And mm -hmm. what I mean by that is that, like, they'll literally be like, well, no one in my family has lived past age 75. So, you know what, I want to spend as much money as I can between 65 and 75. And then they get to 75 and I'm going... Well, you spent too much money between 65 and 75, and now you got to shrink your lifestyle. And that actually then creates the sickness in their body. And then they're literally dead within like a year or two. Like yes. It, it's crazy it to me how often I have seen this. So it's we have to true. really watch the stories we tell ourselves. Mm -hmm. You know? Very, very so, true. Explain, I'm sure there's a bunch of people here because remember, I'm in the money world. So not necessarily a lot of the money world, because um, that tends to be more traditional in nature. Mm -hmm. um, 
just like my Irish Catholic upbringing, um, you know, may not understand past lives. Like uh, I, I've had enough experiences that I can't deny it any longer. Um, but can you talk a little bit about that? Because I know you're knee deep in all of that. And I think that would be helpful for people to hear. That's one of the things I do an awful lot of. Like I said, I've been doing it for over 25 years and it has been an amazing experience for me. I've learned so much about love, uh, about life. I grew up wanting to be a nun. I too was Catholic, born and raised Catholic. I was going to be a nun from the time I was little until I met my husband. And then I thought, oh, well, well, I'll join the Peace Corps when he dies. Don't ask me where I got that from. But the more I went along in life, the more I started questioning things. Things didn't make sense anymore. Right. Why, why, do we all, why are we only here for one blip of time? And that's it. It doesn't even make sense. And nobody I knew had the perfect life. So what's right. the point? So I started investigating. I actually started investigating when I was 15. Started mm. looking into things. There was a movie that came out about reincarnation back then. And I thought, oh, that'd be so cool if that was true. Started investigating. And then I started doing my own work. Um, I had read the book with by Brian Rice, Many Lives, Many oh, yeah. Masters. That's a great and one. That was a great one. I loved it. And then I studied under Julia, um, Dolores Cannon, not Julia oh, Cannon, yeah. Dolores I Cannon. So I studied her quantum mm -hmm. hypnosis or quantum healing hypnosis therapy after right. that. And it was wonderful. I've learned so many things. We've helped so many people to heal. We've helped women get pregnant that never could before. Most people don't realize that when somebody can't get pregnant, a lot of times it's because of something that happened in a past life or even right. this life. We had one lady who was in a concentration camp and all the signs of being in a concentration camp, which are taking place now, reminders and triggers, you know, of losing your freedom and all, all of a sudden that triggered it. And she unconsciously didn't want to bring a child into the world if that was going to happen. Right. We remember these things. They're still a part of us. They're stored in our energy field. Even if we don't remember, they're still there and they still have an effect on us. If you think about a, a male, because I use this because my husband, if he's watching sports on TV and falls asleep in the chair, you walk in and change the channel or turn the TV off. Isn't he all of a sudden going, boom, what'd you do? Why are you doing that? It's because he recognized it. It's the same thing. We have all these late memories in our energy field, but until something triggers it, it's just lays dormant. Yeah, Once it was my, it, right, my right. My introduction to past lives was uh, my when my first son was born. Um, I couldn't. It was the first time I had uh, met a medical intuitive, and my son um, he had terrible eczema on his cheeks. But then the doctors were perplexed because the um, stuff on his cheeks were like bubbling, like he was on fire and then they were oozing. And um, this one woman came in as a client and she goes, and she asked me like, how's your kids? Blah, blah. And she goes, Jewel, I know this lady who's like way out of the box and I know you don't believe any of it because you're Catholic and all this stuff. She goes, but I'm telling you, she'll heal your son's cheeks because they were like raw steaks, like he was scratching mm -hmm. and they were itch. And like, literally it looked like uh, two raw steaks on his cheeks. It was terrible. And mm -hmm. um, so I called this lady up and she goes, okay, well, you're probably not. And this lady tells me she was raised Catholic too. And she goes, you're probably not going to believe this, but um, I'm going to go to his past lives. And I'm going to talk to him on a soul level. I'm like, I don't know what the hell this lady's talking about. <laughs> it was like, you know, my son's 12 now. And I'm like going, you know what? I just want them fixed. And I'm like, this could be the best 200 bucks I've ever spent or the worst 200 bucks I ever spent. But to me, if it could heal. And then she starts telling me about how, do you mind if I talk to your son on a soul level? I'm like, okay, can I hear it though? And she's like, sure. So she was talking out loud and she said, okay, in your prior past life, you were in the military and you were wounded and your uh, platoon said they would come back for you. You were wounded in your legs. And by the, when they went to go back for you, they couldn't get in because they had set fire to the village that they left you in and you burned from your feet to your head. So, and then she started to explain to him that he was no longer burning and that he's in a new life with a loving mom and dad. And she cut these energy cords from this past life. And I'm like sitting here going, 
whatever lady you know i just sat there like i don't even know what you're talking about and you guys no joke my son's cheeks felt uh, totally fixed within two weeks i could it not does. explain it except for that yeah. and i can give you example after example where what i want to tell people is that if how you're handling things today in your life doesn't make sense and you keep hitting brick walls i can guarantee you it's coming from past life stuff and get with somebody like Pat or other somebody in your area that can cut these cords from past life. Because, you know, think about it like our telephones, right? I always tell people like our phones are energy and they tap into the quantum field. They don't have cords like they used to have. Mm -hmm. Our bodies are the exact same way. Right. Right. And so you're connected to things. Just like mm -hmm. when you dial somebody's phone number, you're connected to somebody. Well, your body does that. And sometimes you just need that work done in that quantum field. And, and, the, um, and the interesting thing too is that awareness is the first step in healing. Yeah. When you sit back and go, oh shoot, so that's what happened. And as soon as somebody has that awareness, when you're doing that, it totally shifts them. It helps them go, okay, so that was then, it's not now. Right. I don't have to worry about this anymore. Awareness is the very first step in the healing. And you yep. can't heal unless you have that. Um, we're not going to fix what's going on in ourselves or in the world right now with all the old tools that we're used to. Because it's the old tools that created exactly what we have right now. Exactly. Exactly. And so I would just ask people to stay a little open and saying, you know what? It's and it's also okay to see your current doctor and also look at natural ways to boost your immune system. You know, and get Pat, both. Pat where can right. they get your book at? You can get my book on Amazon. You can go there, or you can also buy, purchase it in the store uh, or on our website. We do have it listed on our website. So if you go to our website, uh, whitedevcircle.org, you can find we have a shop there, and you can find many things there. We have healing blankets, socks, because most people have trouble with their feet. What people don't realize is your feet is you. It's your foundation and who you are. So when you're having trouble with your feet, you're having problems with you. You're not walking your path. You're no. walking away from it or next to it, but you're not walking forward. So oh, I have somebody have I need to tell that story to. <laughs> That's very true. Very true. And then we also have pet healing blankets because we found with the healing blankets that we have, the once the pets find the energy in there and they know it right away, they're going to mm -hmm. fight you for the blanket. So if you give them their own, wow. that way they don't get upset. Well, <laughs> I think it's funny. Three years ago, I bought one of those blankets each for my children when I was there in Ohio. And, mm -hmm. um, and they still, they're in their beds and they sleep with them all the time. They each have their I own. Sleep, funny. You sleep like a baby with them. And then yeah. we also have the White Dove Hand and Body Balm. And that's mm -hmm. just really wonderful too, because I even had um, pockets in my gums that were like seven or eight. The doctor, the dentist wanted to do surgery. And I'm like, no, not on this body. So I, every day I would put it on my face at night. Doesn't have to be on the gums, just on my face. It was, it's near enough. And within oh, six months, awesome. I went back and I had no pockets. That's excellent. And we'll be putting the link to her book in whitedovecircle.org. We'll be putting the link there. Um, Pat's a great resource. And even if you're nowhere near Ohio, um, not all of this has to be done physically in person. When you understand yeah. that you don't need a cord on your cell phone is the same thing as why when you do these healing sessions, to help boost your immune system or any other physical ailment you've got, you can do this. I remember when I first started on my healing journey back in 2007, um, one of my uh, healers in Sedona would say to me, well, Jewel, at some point you're going to realize you don't have to get on an airplane and actually come to Sedona and meet with me. And I'm like, yeah, well, spare me your brilliance, you know, because I was the left brain logical financial person. And I'm like going, I, I really conceptually could not even understand how that was even remotely possible. And then I finally, after like two years of flying to Sedona every month or two, um, I finally was like, I couldn't do it because I then got pregnant and started to have kids. And I was like, okay. Um, so just again, put your ego to the side and just be open so that you can have an experience that you can't deny, mm -hmm. you know, in your own healing process. And I think that's what's really, really important to understand that 
there are resources and tools physically in your space or outside in other states that um, are super useful. Well, Pat, anything else that you'd like to share with people today? Um, most of all, just keep your immune system up. You cannot get sick. You have a good immune system. The doctors aren't telling you that. The medical establishment or government, but it is true. And if you do wind up getting this COVID, there are natural ways to get that, to heal from there. There's the energy work, but there's also increase your vitamin C, D, and take zinc. Because yep. those have been proven to be effective. Yep. But we're not being told that, but that is true. And if everyone I advise that to, it works. And I always tell people, I'm like, what's your worst case scenario? You wind up taking a bunch of vitamin C and D and zinc and you pee it all out too much. Well, if maybe, maybe it's a lace, but give it a try. Maybe you won't get right. it. Like just be, it's about being just slightly open to give something else a try because the other right. route's not working. Right. Right. And that goes with cancer. That goes with any disease. It doesn't matter. Well, think of how much money that we could save by not pay, going, paying the medical establishment. We could have that money for uh, doing massages and spas and vacations and all the fun things we want to do. But how instead, about, how, how about, much how about money? The, how about all the money that was spent on masks over the last year? Yes. That we could have yeah. used in just boosting our immune systems. Which they don't work because breathing <laughs> in your own carbon dioxide is not the same as oxygen. No, I literally degree. saw a cardiologist. He was helping me. I went and got some IVs when I was in Colorado just to boost up my immune system to get back on the airplane and back home again. So I, I got some IVs and um, and it was a physical doctor. He, he had left cardiology at age 60 and decided to do integrative medicine and helping people with all, many of the things that you're talking about from a medical side. And he literally said that he did the actual tests himself. You decrease your oxygen level, which you mm -hmm. said to boost your immune system earlier, you said you have to have high oxygen. So if you're decreasing your oxygen level by wearing a mask, you actually are lowering your immune system as well as you're taking in carbon dioxide, which is lowering your immune system, right? So, um, and I know there's a lot of arguments about it, but just always know there's always more than one way to navigate something. And yeah. um, if we're all boosting our immune systems, yeah. that's okay too. You know, it's all. Yes, there. exactly. Exactly. Yeah. So Pat, um, I look forward to having this conversation again, because I think you're a wealth of knowledge and I just think we scratched the surface today. So uh, we'll coordinate a date and I would love to have you back on again. And I would love to be back on. I think that would be wonderful. It's been awesome. a pleasure, Julie. Thanks, Pat. We'll talk Thank to you, you soon. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Have Bye. a great day. Bye. Bye.